My name is Alistair Lee, and in this short video, we're going to look at creating an audio profile for your Adobe Connect meeting room. I'm going to begin by logging into Adobe Connect. The reason that you might want to create an audio profile primarily is to record meetings so that the audio inside of that meeting recording will be available. But by using one of our integrated telephony partners, you can also control the audio conference directly from Adobe Connect. You can automatically dial out to participants. You can control things like the volume, muting people or raising or lowering their volume directly from the attendees pod. So this is a step that you might want to go through before you create your first meeting. As you're creating a meeting, which we'll be doing in the next video tutorial, you'll see that there's an area to associate that meeting with one of the audio profiles that you've got. Uh, so obviously you need to have created an audio profile first. You can go back and edit an existing meeting to add an audio profile though. So to begin with, I'm going to go up to the My Profile link in the top right hand corner of Adobe Connect. And this is the place that you would go to change your password or edit any of your preferences. In this case, we're going to go and add a new audio profile. Now we don't want to click this audio providers link. That's something else that we'll talk about in just a second. But for now, I'm going to click the My Audio Profiles. I'm going to create a brand new profile. The first time that you come here, obviously, you won't have any audio profiles set up. But you can set up multiple audio profiles. You might have a number from Intercall. You might be using an Adobe Meeting Place number or a number from PGI. You can set up as many of these profiles as you'd like. I'm going to create a new profile. And there's a drop down list box here in which I can select my audio provider. Now this is going to look different depending on how your account is set up and which of the integrated audio providers are enabled on that different account. We've also got a feature in Adobe Connect called Universal Voice that allows IT or the administrators of Adobe Connect to basically teach Adobe Connect how to dial out to other audio providers that don't provide the integration. So if you've got a number with Verizon or AT&T or something that's not supported, with Adobe Connect natively, you can actually use this My Audio Providers link to teach Adobe Connect how to dial out to that unsupported number. So you can even use those audio conferences with your meetings and have it recorded. You don't get all of the integrated features though, the ability to control that audio conference directly from Adobe Connect. In this case, I'm going to select one of our integrated partners. I'm going to choose a, an intercall provider. And there's three fields that I need to fill out. Uh, the first one is just a profile name. I'm going to put in Alistair's intercall number. The next two you should receive via email, either from intercall or from IT, after you've requested and been approved to get one of these audio conference uh, providers, you'll receive a conference code and a leader pin. This might look a little different if you're using Meeting One or PGI, but the concept is very similar. There's one or two fields that you'll get from that audio conferencing provider, and you just need to type them in here. Once you've got those figures typed in, just hit the Save button. And I've got my own audio conferencing provider set up. In the next tutorial, we'll look at creating a meeting, and I'll use this integrated profile to create the meeting so that I can record that meeting with audio. Thanks for watching.